Hello there, YouTube, and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel, everybody. So, I am working on October 2024's Monday series. This is video number three. That is not a case of card. I forgot to change that out. Oh, my goodness. So, week three... On a Monday means it is shaker card time, right? So this is a shaker card. Oh, this is just how uh, today's gone. Today was a bit um, long and I need some scratch paper that will work. I don't necessarily need the Stampin' Pierce mat. So what are we working with? Well, we are working with In the Grove and grassy grove though i can't show you the stamp set um i can show you the dies the reason being is because i accidentally put grassy grove in my aunt carol's uh <laughs> her bag when she was here the other day so this is the groves the grove these are the dies for in the grove right here these are the dies for grassy grove which we're not using because i don't even have that stamp set with me we are using one of the um, retired stitched rectangles. It is the sixth, counting from the center out. One, two, three, four, five. Number six, it's already been done. So that's what we're using. That is what I'm concentrating this month's um, stamps. All of my Mondays and Saturday series are in the Grove and Grassy Grove. Sorry I couldn't show you that in this video. My aunt's going to bring it over here in a couple of days. <laughs> For today's card, we are also going to be using Peaceful Season as this is going to be a Christmas card. Yes, it's the holidays. So it's getting to be anyways. <coughs> I made my own shaker bits using um, some sequins I found. And um, I'm thinking I'm pairing it with Pretty Peacock today and some little snowflakes. So let me show you what we have. Here's my notebook. So, yes, we're using the shaker uh, envelopes, as I call them. The large window envelopes. You can buy them off Amazon. We're going to cut three and a half inches off from this end. Our card base, we have a white envelope. Our card base is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And you guys probably can't see any of that, but that's what it is. All of these measurements will be in the description part of the video. So for inside the window, meaning inside this envelope, it's going to be four by five and a quarter. The outside, this layer is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is in Pretty Peacock. With use the stitched rectangle die six from the center. I use two scrap bits of white to stamp and die cut um, two trees out from the set. I'm not sure if I'm going to use both, but I did two. <coughs> Pardon me. And then with all right. So here you can see, here's my trees, right? So you can see I used two scrap bits of white to die cut my birch trees out. And we're going to take those apart and get those on our card as well. Let me set that aside. This is that four by five, four and a quarter by five and a half with the die cut out. So we don't need this piece. We're going to use this one that has the die cut. And then I have a tiny little sentiment strip I cut to one by one and three corners in white. And then its layer is one and a quarter by two. And you're going to see how that's going to just layer up snugly like so. And let's get started, shall we? So I'm going to carefully, very carefully take off. Ooh, that didn't die cut all the way through. It does happen on occasion. Did it do it anywhere else? Nope, just there and there. And all I do is simply come in and cut it off. Cut it apart. I wonder. My plate is really old, so it probably needs replacing. 
this is an easy fix. If this is the only thing that goes wrong, that's an easy fix. This is a good piece still. So there is my frame, and I'm hoping this, please let this work. I'm hoping that is going to go just like that. I might have to, you can see how that might be off a little, so we'll have to finagle some of that on there as well. Oops, we want this piece, and we want this piece, maybe. I did not do, yes, my plates need replacing, so come this next payday, I'm buying new plates. They were in my cart, and I didn't, I took them out. I thought, oh no, I can go another month. No. <coughs> Apparently, that was not such a good idea. So here we have the two birch tree sections from In the Grove. Let me pop that little bit out. You can see those, right? So I have this section here and the next section here of this die. All I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to put that like so. And I don't mind. See that little bit of white there? That's going to be fine. We just want to, oh, actually we can cover the whole thing up. We're going to wait till the end though, okay? We're going to wait till the end because I'm thinking I might combine these over on one side and do the pine trees on the other, but I'm not sure yet. Not, not all there yet, right? This is still in my head. I still got to, got to work a few things out. So this is the inside piece. This is the card base. Inside piece. We're going to start, oh, and we're doing it landscape. That's right. We don't want to make the mistake. I am going to try to just do in pretty peacock and some white ink. So we're going to do some blending. This is still some simple, simple stamping here. So I've got to decide if you'll look on this envelope, this is, there's a wider piece here than there is. So I need to decide which is going to be the top and which is going to be the bottom. So the bottom is going to be this wider piece. So I just want to know where, oh, uh, we're just going to go for it. I know that I want to stay, you know, half an inch away from the top. I just breathed really heavy on my stamp. So I'm going to put my mountains almost in the center. I think that looks good. Mm -hmm, I think so. Oh, look how pretty that looks. And it looks cold. And that's what I want. I want a cold looking scene. So now we're going to put that grassland. Now we know we needed at least a half an inch up from the bottom. So if you wanted to, you could take a pencil. <clears throat> and you know that nothing's going to be seen from that mark. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and stamp. Here. Oh, that's got a little messy there. So let's try this. Hmm. I'm going to stamp in the center. To me, it just looks like darker trees there. It's going to look good. I have a feeling. And then I have a blending brush. Yes, one of my old ones. Tap, 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 tap. Tap it off. And I'm thinking I need a little bit right here, though. I don't think it's going to show, but we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of that in there. Okay, so now we're going to bring it in. We have to give ourselves some sky. I don't want a nighttime scene. And that down there really doesn't need it, but I 
this up. Now I just want to frame it out a little bit more. Oh, it's so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty peacock, right? And I just tapped way too much in there. So, <clears throat> cold, cold, cold sky. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to set these two stamps way over there for the moment. Um, and I'm going to, we're going to take a look. <clears throat> we're going to cut this open in a minute. So for, let's see. Look at that. I just, ha I have to, I have to take a peek at what it's going to look like. You know, I'm going to take a peek. Oh, look at that scene we have going on. Okay. And my birch trees are going to be like we're looking from a distance out onto the scene. So we could put, we can't because those are too small to put there. If they were bigger, we could have put them. And let's see. See, we're going to have those there. Have I given it away already? Yeah, you can see what we're building, right? But I can see here we need something more to go across here to finish our scene off. And I'm thinking we have this, which would be really pretty, right? We have that. Or we can go very natural. Oh, Miss Gina, what did I do with it? My upline, Miss Gina, we were at her house. She gave me the most beautiful ribbon, which would go perfectly on here. And I know it's not in my stamp room. It's in my purse or it's in my jacket. So we're, I think we're going to go the natural path and we're going to use some of this. Okay. I can already tell we are. I'm really happy with it all. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Love it. So let's go ahead and stamp our wishing you and yours onto uh, let's get that stamp in Pierce Matte because I would like it to be a really good inking. Stamping, I should say. We just inked it. <sighs> Breathe on it because I already inked it. Let's see. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Wishing you and yours. And should we brush some of the pretty peacock on it? Blend it out a little make it kind of I think so all right that's done um thinking 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 all right before we go putting all this stuff together uh, we're going to try to stamp the mountains the correct way here this time right we're gonna try <laughs> can't always promise that is I tend to you know last couple of times I've stamped this I think I've stamped them upside down so here we are gonna go right there <clears throat> and then we're gonna go ahead and stamp the rest of the mountain range and then on the front, we are going to stamp some of those really beautiful pine trees. They almost look like cedar trees, the way the limbs are going. That will do for that, but we do need something. All the best. Nope. 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 Joy and love to you. For the envelope. That will not be seen on there. So we're going to have to do like right there. Yes. 
All right, so envelope is done. The inside of the card is next. As long as we don't, I'm a little worried sometimes about doing this. So we are going to stamp sending a season of wonder and happiness. No stamp and pierce mat. We're just going to go for it. We're going to stamp the trees. And I think we're going to frame it out with some trees on the side as well. <clears throat> Everything else is ready. All right. Simple stamping there. No, no big anything there. So... We need the guillotine, trying to remember what I have not done. So, take our card out. That was such a simple card. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised at how simple that went. Three and a half inches off of the one side. We're going to glue this down inside our card. My aunt, you guys, brought me over a new glue bottle. <laughs> which is, like, inside my purse or my jacket. I can't remember which. It's somewhere. Just like the ribbon. It was inside my pockets at one point of the pants I wore. Yes, that needs to come out. <clears throat> all right. So open your envelope. Tuck it all the way down in there. Now, this is where you can decide where you're going to stick your goodies in. Either you're going to seal it up here or seal it up here. I recommend you seal up this flap of the envelope first. And that being said, because up here I miter it. <clears throat> so, this... Let me get my card base, because this can be the exact same bit of my card all the way down. So I'm just going, bending it right along to the edge of my card stock that's inside. And yeah, you can see it doesn't do like 100% job, but then I come in. And I miter the sides, take a wedge, a pie out, as I like to call it. Then you're going to have two flaps. You could glue them together. Me, I just cut this one off. Less bulk is best. Now, if you seal it up now... You won't get your shaker bits in there. <clears throat> so here's my shaker bits that I put together. And I have some that you can see. I got these from the dollar store. They're very clingy. And I want those in there on purpose. So it just takes a spoonful. Is all. You open it up. I'm going to dump those on the inside. Tap all the glitter bits out of there. That glitter bit was from the little snowflakes. And I still have plenty in here from what I put together. And these were just like um, three different colors of blue. And then some snowflake confetti. And I don't know what you want to call these. But I'll show you them. Hold on. <clears throat> they are from the dollar store. And they're a type of, like, confetti. They came with a three-pack. So there was gold, rose gold, and this silvery, pewtery 
blue color. So now that I got those in there, I am going to seal this up. This does make shaker card so, so, so easy. And wait till you see it. That's a lot. I could have done half of that. But that is gorgeous. So now we're going to stick that onto our card. We don't have to worry about stamping or doing anything to this because we have a frame today. Right? We have a frame. We don't normally have a frame, but let's use some tear tape. Why not? <clears throat> Why are we using tear tape? Oh, because we can. And it's right there. And I will still use some white glue. So... Give it a little rub down, a little massage, and looking to release the backing. I always want to say release the Kraken, right? Can't help it. <clears throat> Huge movie fan. My grandson wants to watch um, whatever that movie is with the purple crayon. <laughs> Something, something in the purple crayon. Yes. Said yes, we will watch that movie. <clears throat> I want to take him to go see Red One. Because I just think that is going to be a great family fun Christmas movie and I do love Christmas movies guys we start watching Christmas movies Hank will come and we lay in my bed and I know we won't be able to fit much longer with my husband and I but we all lay up in my bed and we watch Christmas movies <clears throat> yes we do so that's a, it's a great wintry uh, it, it's just a great thing and it's, I know those will be memories for him. So I am putting glue around the part of the frame. Oops. And then just maneuvering it in place. Let's do the other one. We're going to try to get that. We might have, <coughs> sorry, I would really like to put it there. I guess that won't be so bad. It's just, we're going to have that little piece there. So probably not. I'll probably move it back. So we won't see much of the this one here but now that this one doesn't have any white there I'm just gonna cut that white right out of there All right, so there, that's going to go there. It's going to be great. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. But we do need some ribbon. <clears throat> and here we go. So we need to cut. I want it to go around the back. So probably a good six inches. Just cut that off. Cut this bit off as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to use, like, this is probably close to, like, two inches wide. 
Not sure if I'm going to use all of that. Need to cut some of this off for my aunt. She can't find the roll that she bought that day she was with me. So, <clears throat> I think we only need like an inch. So, this is about an inch and three quarters is what it looks like. So, fold it. That can be used for something else and I have look an inch all right so do I want to put it behind I could do like that I can tell you that right here needs trimming. So this is going to come around. And... Oh, most definitely. So we're going to take it around the side. We're going to take it to the front. We're just going to roll a piece of, <clears throat> oops, piece of tear tape. Right there. Around. Probably end up going in and playing a round of Jenga. <laughs> With Hank for his birthday, he got a light up Jenga set, which, oh my gosh, when it collapses, these plastic Jenga pieces, because the light shoots up from a tower base, right? <clears throat> they go everywhere. And then you can't see them because they're like these clear acrylic blocks and they just disappear when they go off the table. Yes, they disappear. Oh, <laughs> uh, so. I don't want it to go into the frame. See how that is like right at the frame? I want this one back there as well because we don't want that doubled up behind the frame. So now this needs to go onto here. And yes, I'm going to use tear tape just because I, I feel like I need to, but you don't have to. This is just going to add a little bit, secure it a little bit more to this. I'm still going to add wet glue to it as well. This is just me being overly cautious. I have a friend from high school that I send cards to and she tells me all the time, I keep every single card you send me, every single one. This might be something that I send her just because, I don't know, it's a little bit different. She lived up here. We ran into each other. We both married sailors. <laughs> um, we ran into each other at the Naval Hospital one day. It was kind of funny. I was like, Robin, is that you? She was like, no way. I said, no way is right. I cannot believe this is you. Our husbands did two totally different things. Mine being a sub sailor. Hers was surface. All right. Oops. That's what I was afraid of. Let's get it. Oh, that is lovely. 
Lovely, lovely. And we only used one ink. And look at all those shaker bits. Doesn't that look like a winter scene? All right, so here come the rest. And that is going to be lovely. And then that gives me something I can ground those two down here. And then I can pull that into the center. So do I want it? <clears throat> I think I am going to bring it this way. Nope. I'm going to fussy cut around this. Hmm. You can keep it square if you wanted to. I just feel it needs a little something more whimsical. Not so square. And the best way to do that is to fussy cut it. And if I don't like it, I'll just make it another. And I'm even going to fussy cut it on here. So let's see. Or do I just do the corners? No, because I want it smaller. I want it smaller. So let's go ahead and glue it down. I was going to put it on dimensionals, but I can put the pretty peacock on dimensionals. This, I want to fussy cut it down. <clears throat> fussy cutting is, some people do not like it. I do. I don't mind it. I don't mind doing that. See, it just needed to be a little bit smaller in my book, and that works for me. But that's me. Oh, so now I could even put this up here now that it's a little smaller. I could put these over to the side and put that here, which I liked better, and I want a little linen bow. So... If you're wondering, yes, one of my little dowels is shorter because <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. Okay, so I have this shelf in a cabinet and I didn't have one of those little metal pieces that went in the little holes in the cabinet that this um, shelf rested on. It had fallen out and I couldn't find it anywhere. And so, I could... yeah, you guys are going to laugh. Yes. Um, I, I took this little piece of wooden dowel, I put it in the little hole, I let it hang out, you know, a tiny bit, marked it, and then I used a hacksaw and I cut it off. <laughs> and I'm like, one of my dowels is just going to be a little smaller than the other, but you can see, it wasn't much, literally that much, and that fixed my shelf. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It did. The shelf now doesn't go like this, because it has that little thing to rest on and I put a little bit of glue in it stuck it in the hole and it's fixed <laughs> oh much so cool so so cool so do I just need one tree then or do I stack my... see this is what I was wondering if I stacked my trees like that but that kind of blocks all that gorgeous birch I think we just need one tree I think one tree, I could even take this. I really do want it here though. Do I bring it up a little? Oh, there we go, that's it. Okay, <clears throat> it's a Christmas card. So we are going to put all these scissors away. That one's too big. That 
that needs a glue dot. Right there. I hope it stays there. <clears throat> we need a mini one right here, just a mini. So give me a second. I want a mini one and I think I used up all of my minis. Nope, here's one that started out of tell me this isn't pretty mm -mm, you can't because I know it is I know it's pretty and I think we need one maybe right there That doesn't always work for me. There. Now it has the support it needs. Oh! Love a shaker card. Love it, love it. You can see all those great bits in there, right? And I think that color was really close to the pretty peacock. That's why I chose it. Look at that. When you go back like that, it almost looks like it's falling snow. That's that glitter that was in with these little... Um, let me show you. Here's my little... So I got these at Michael's Snowflakes. So it says polyester glitter. So... That's where my little snowflakes came from. The rest were from the dollar store, from Sequence and the other stuff. But look at, when you look at it, do you see the little spots that look like, like it's actually falling snow? Oh, I love it. Cute. So please, I hope you guys like it because I absolutely love it. And I am in mad search for the envelope. So simple, the mountain's there there wishing you and yours a season of wonder and happiness oh thank you all so much for allowing me to come into your homes and to share my love of paper crafting because this guy is so far today highlight of my day makes me so happy you guys give that to me simply by allowing me to come in and share this with you so thank you thank you thank you so so much i i <clears throat> i absolutely love this uh oh, someone's revving an engine of some kind out there. So I will let you guys go. I hope you guys like this one. I think it came out fabulous. Uh, very simple card to do. So thanks all so very much. And please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye bye for now, everybody.